In a world dominated by AI, which chatbot rules them all? Is it ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, or Microsoft's Copilot? Stick around and in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of each and let you decide which is gonna be best for you. The AI chatbot market is highly competitive. It has major players like OpenAI's ChatGPT, Microsoft's Copilot, Google's Gemini, Anthropic's Claude. Each of these offers unique features and can be used in a variety of different ways and will address a variety of user needs. Now, ChatGPT is the most mainstream of all of these options. It's amassed over 180 million users. It boasts a wide range of features, includes web browsing and image generation, and it has a pro version with lots of updated components and training. Now let's talk about Microsoft's Copilot. Microsoft's Copilot leverages ChatGPT's 4 and Dolly, and it integrates very deeply within Microsoft's suite of tools and software. So if you're a Microsoft user, this is a highly beneficial tool. Copilot acts as an assistant within many of the Microsoft applications, such as Excel, Word, within Bing. Google's Gemini, which previously was known as BARD, offers unlimited response capabilities. And these unlimited response capabilities also draws upon Google's search capability. And it also integrates tools like Maps and Google Workspace into the workflow of Google Gemini. Anthropics Claude shines with all its multimodal capabilities. It includes ethical content generation, which can be very important, sophisticated conversion of fluency, time data training. So this includes real-time data training within the platform of Anthropics Claude. Now let's go through some of the pros and cons. For ChatGPT, it was the first to go mainstream with a vast user base. That's a pro because it's gathering a lot of information and data. And it also, it also offers a broad range of features. It's its pro version, the 4.0. Now the con is the 3.5 version, which has outdated training and doesn't have the web browsing capability. Let's talk a little bit about Copilot. A pro of Copilot is its deep integration into Microsoft's suite of tools. And it leverages ChatGPT's 4 and DALI for image creation and for productivity enhancement. But ultimately, it is limited because of users' embeddedness into Microsoft's suite of tools as well, in that the tools work best in that environment. Now, when we talk about Gemini from Google, the unlimited availability of responses is a huge benefit and value to this tool within Google's ecosystem as well. It offers a tremendous amount of speed and flexibility and access to Google's tremendous amount of search data. But there has been, as a con, some controversy around its image generation. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of Anthropic's Claude. A pro of Claude is its T-modal capabilities and focus on ethical content generation. It's newer to the market, so it may be lesser known amongst users. So let's, now that we've gone over the pros and cons, you've had an introduction to each, let's talk about a few questions that we should focus on when you begin to start thinking about choosing one of these chatbots. How do the unique features of each of these impact how you select one and the interface and also how it's embedded within other tools? And this can be considered between creative tasks, and productivity tasks. And what role do you see ethical content generation in your long-term choice for a chatbot? And how do you see the integration of these tools, specific software ecosystems, such as Google, Microsoft, how much does that influence your choice, both for the market share of these tools going forward and also your own user preference? It's important as you begin to look at these tools that you evaluate them for how you plan on using them and use them safely and effectively. And always be sure to double check the data from any type of AI chatbot. Always be sure to check for mistakes and responses from chatbots and always stay on the lookout for new GPT and ways to utilize AI to help you be productive and effective every single day. Thanks for checking out the video. Please give a like and subscribe if you like the content. And please check out one of these other videos. And please check out one of these other videos that YouTube is recommending from my channel to help you stay ahead 
with Digital Futures Education. Thank you.